Peninsula Gallery's May 2021 exhibition, I Am Woman, provides the opportunity for women artists to subvert the gaze, allowing viewers to see the female form from the perspective of women. To better understand the themes of this show, we can look back to the past, exploring how women and their perspectives were written back into art history. When observing any art form, you are always performing the act of looking. Looking at the subject, at the colors, at the environment, at the collection as a whole. The viewer inherently takes on the gaze of the artist, seeing the subject of work through the artist's perspective, and thus then seeing the world from the eyes of the artist. Throughout history, the production, criticism, and teachings of art have been dominated by men, which has filtered the reading and understanding of art through what scholars have coined as the male gaze. In the 1970s BBC program Ways of Seeing, art critic and philosopher John Berger first used the phrase when exploring how classical Western artwork made by history's most prolific artists have skewed and influenced the way we interact in society, particularly with our understanding of gender. Berger explains how the majority of traditional European paintings use the female nude to depict a woman as a subject of male idolization or desire, rather than giving her her own identity and agency. With the rise of feminism and female activism during the end of the 20th century, the art community began to push for more equal representation in galleries and museums, encouraging curators and collectors to champion women's artwork. From this, the female gaze is developed, which, as Laura Mulvey notes, is a way of looking that favors the way women see the world. In contrast to the male gaze, which places women as spectacles to be objectified and viewed rather than being represented as complete human beings, the female gaze allows women creators to return the gaze, forcing the audience to see from their point of view. For I Am Woman, we invited five women artists to create artworks that express the female identity as they see it. The show explores how women interpret their femininity using both literal and figurative means to express the depths of a woman's identity. Brooke Hedge focuses her camera on the female form to investigate the symbolic essence of femininity. The ladies in Brenda Kadira's photorealistic portraits are placed in contrasting environments, communicating the holistic diversity of female personalities. Chloe McEldowney, a first-time exhibitor here at Peninsula Gallery, conveys womanhood through a whimsical, naturalistic design of vivid colors and floral patterns. Sydney McGinley's soft pastel work expresses gentle femininity that imitates a more simplistic woman, whereas Nancy Richards West, oil, and Sumier pieces bring to life females with both relatable and mystical personas. The artist and I Am Woman were asked to speak to the idea of the female gaze and what they hoped audiences would get from seeing women portrayed by other women. Sydney McGinley says, looking at women is seeing their grace and depth, knowing when they are pensive by only the slightest contemplation, while inwardly gathering boundless spirit and resolve. My objective in painting is not to declare political statements or designate a particular narrative. It is quite simply this. To portray a woman is to experience her quiet moments. Chloe McEldowney remarks, I celebrate women, their achievements, strengths, powers, gentleness, beauty, boldness, and complexity. Although I draw from my own observations, triumphs, stumbles, I hope that my work expresses empathy and connection. I want the viewer to be able to connect emotionally. My painting set out to explore the multifaceted and complex nature of women, their unique anxieties, fears, and experiences. I reflect on expectations put on women and how they present themselves in society. Brenda Kadira reflects, Being a woman means facing the world each day, knowing that you're looked upon to be the backbone of society. It means having the resilience and grit to carry on when things get tough. But being a woman also means nurturing relationships and sowing the seeds of kindness and compassion in others, as well as yourself. Brooke Hedge says, Women and men see the world differently. We each see the world through the lens of life experiences. I Am Woman captures the many different aspects of being female, from our creativity, care, resilience, and strength. Women transcend their sex, crafting rich layers of identity. Nancy Richard West states, We are complex and intricate creatures. Pink lace and lipstick does not define who we are. Being a woman is difficult for many, as discrimination, abuse, and persecution are common simply because of our sex. I have been fortunate to be accepted for who I am, 
with all of my strengths, weaknesses, glories, and quirks. But I am very aware that others are not so lucky and suffer in silence. I hope my art can be the voice for those of us who are needfully silent. I Am Woman is on display at the Peninsula Gallery in Lewis, Delaware until June 5th. You can view the entire show online at peninsula-gallery.com.